Basically, I wanted to change my career. I actually ended up calling like four different boot camps. Making the decision to take the boot camp was a huge deal for me. Hey everybody, it's Yeonju here. If you're new to my channel, I used to vlog about my life as a chemical engineer. Today, I'm back with my coding boot camp review. Hey, it's editing Yeonju here. I found out that the audio quality of this video is shit. I was gonna retake this entire video, but um, my memory has been like fresher back then, so I just decided to keep it. But um, I'll try to do my best to make this work, but the quality may not be the best, and I'm so sorry. And next time I do this, I'll make sure that the quality is way better than this. So thank you all for understanding. Obviously, I took a break from YouTube. I decided to start with my oldest news, which is my coding boot camp. So I graduated from my coding boot camp on April 7th. For those of you who don't know what a coding bootcamp is, a coding bootcamp basically teaches you the basic of coding knowledge, um, gets you up to speed to the industry standards of, I guess, coding in a very short amount of time. So usually it's between like 12 weeks to, I guess, 28 weeks, depending on how you decide to do it. Like, are you going to learn multiple languages or um, part-time, full-time? And I just completed one of the bootcamps that are out there. So I decided to review about that. If you don't care about my background, you can skip this part. The majority of my subscribers have similar backgrounds as me. So they either study chemical engineering or they studied chemical engineering. So that's where my background is as well. I actually graduated in 2019 and then I've had about um, three years of experience in manufacturing. The typical route of a chemical engineer. I started as a production engineer-ish. Our company calls it differently but basically Basically like a process engineer or a project engineer uh, was doing small projects here and there and then also learning about the operations. So I do come from a STEM background. Um, basically I wanted to change my career. I didn't talk about this when I first mentioned that I was taking coding bootcamp but that's basically where my head was. So then I decided to do 26 weeks part-time bootcamp with Stack Academy. Bootcamps have been out there for a really long time. So I did actually research a little bit before I decided to go with this one and I'll talk about why I decided to go with Full Stack Academy because like coding is something that you can learn without a college degree. This just has been a really popular thing to get into the tech industry. Basically it's a shorter amount of time and you don't have to go to college for a compside degree or anything. In April 2021, actually exactly a year ago, at first, I'm based in Orange County right now. I was just going to do the coding bootcamp provided by UC Irvine. So right now, a lot of the bootcamps are provided by like the universities and extended education programs. So UC Irvine, UCLA, like they all had those and even like I'm sure Texas A&M has it too. But because I was physically located here, even though it's going to be remote, it just made sense. So I like, I almost went with it. Usually what happens is that once you're interested, you will probably fill out their website application and then they'll probably call you. Um, that's how it was for all of the ones that I looked into. I actually ended up calling like four different boot camps. So even though these boot camps are provided by the universities, they're not actually the university for providing this the schools are usually partnered with a third party who actually provides all the bootcamp materials. And I noticed that a lot of state university, like University of Texas, um, UCLA, UC Irvine, they were all partnered with Trilogy. And the reason why I ended up not going to Trilogy was because I ended up looking into the reviews right before I was going to go for it on YouTube to search like Trilogy reviews and they were all horrible. My priority was the tuition. Making the decision to take the boot camp was a huge deal for me because they cost like a lot. I think average around like 13,000. And I've only been in my industry for about like a year and a half. And like spending the majority of the savings that I have for my first full time job, like that's a little bit too much. In order to make the right decision, like for me, like the financial part was actually really, really huge. If I'm going to spend this much cash, then like it's got to be the right 
decision. I'll go over all the prices that I got connected with based in April 2021. The ones that I ended up contacting was UC Irvine, Soul Trilogy, Hack Reactor. Hack Reactor was not partnered with another school, at least like the ones that I looked into. Coding Dojo and Full Stack Academy. And I went with Full Stack Academy and they were partnered with Cal Poly Extended Education for me. So UC Irvine had 13,000 um, tuition, but they were offering 24 months of installment plan, which was like the best financing option I could find online. And the curriculum looked good, but then they had really bad reviews regarding Trilogy, um, and also UC Irvine was really new. Black Reactor is very known as a very good for camp. But it's also really expensive. I think Hack Reactor comes with like, you find a job first and then you pay whatever. But then California residents were not um, eligible for that option. So it was not even a good option for me. But you can choose like different languages that you want to take. You can look into like what's the difference between like certain languages. But in my mind, because I just didn't have any background, like I just thought like the more languages the better. But if you do that, I think it was going to be about like 18000 to over $20,000. Hack Reactor definitely have like a lot of successful alumni and the reviews are really, really good too. And then they have two screening processes. Actually, I think one of them is a coding challenge. So you can go through the like basic premium program to do the coding challenge. But for me, the downside of this was that it was just way too expensive for me. So I ended up not going with this one. And then Coding Dojo was $16,000 for three full stacks, Python, Java, and Mern JavaScript. They were offering installment plans, but they just have to be paid out before graduation. Uh, but then I did try to find like like the alumni on LinkedIn, and I, I was actually reaching out to like random people. So if you guys haven't reached out by me, I'm sorry. I couldn't really find a lot of main, like good successful alumni on the different coding dojo and also I think price was another thing that made me basically say no to this one. So the last one was Full Stack Academy. The cost actually was the cheapest. It was $11,995. I got $250 of discount because I signed up early. I learned that if it's provided by a school, they usually have a better financing options other than the ones that say like you can pay up or you get a job. And for me here, they said I can just put in like half of the amount before the bootcamp starts. And then once the bootcamp starts, I just have to pay monthly for the rest of the amount, like the, the other half. As you can see, it was like the cheapest, but that's not the only reason why I went with it. Um, it actually had really, really good reviews. And also I could find a lot of successful alumni on LinkedIn. Full stock is actually uh, JavaScript, web development, full stack. But coding bootcamp, if you're like, going to do it part-time you really have to be able to like put in extra time because I did have class Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays and they did say you need average of 15 hours of commitment outside the class time. The first instructor we had there is an instructor and instructor associate. The way the instructor was teaching was pretty like distracting so to speak. I know this because I'm not the only person that gave that feedback around that instructor because like the class structure is that like you do pre-reading for a new material, they go over the material or the concept and then they show you an example by demoing the code and then every time the instructor demoed the code it would bug out and then the instructor got super lost on what was happening. So that was like the first half of the bootcamp. And then some students expressed that the instructor was not reaching the satisfactory level of students to be able to learn. The food camp actually called, called all the students together and it ended up asking for feedback. And then pretty much everyone was on the same page that this instructor was not very good. In the meantime, the instructor associate that started with us, he was like obviously brilliant, basically knew the materials way more than the instructor and then he also always had to chime in. He also had very good way to teach people. He doesn't give the answers directly to the students and he 
tries to place the music in and find the answers to the history yourself. So then a lot of positive feedback about him. One of the feedbacks that were given by a student was that can you just make him the instructor? I was actually pretty surprised that Full Stack Academy was like listening to the students' opinions and I think that's a really great thing. So then the instructor came and then everything was pretty much very smooth. The bootcamp itself is like a project-based thing. So like every week or every other week you would have a product that's due. It's pretty normal to have one product due every day. And then, so that's where I was spending time for the past 26 weeks. So post bootcamp, um, they do provide like different resources like the career coach, like you can have a meeting with your career coach and also like different like networking opportunities within the full spec alumni. So for full spec if I were to recommend I think I really want to say I was really, really lucky with certain things in the bootcamp. I did end up making really good friends out of the bootcamp. And then also the second instructor we got was like amazing. If you are to go through the same experience that I have gone through, I want to say like, yes. So I would say definitely explore around the options you've got and just work on your priorities more about like leaving the industry i'll talk about that in my next video as well i think that covers everything that i've gone through thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in my next video bye